Nice job by Robert. Nelms did nothing in the first half, shot no balls. You know, and once he gets the ball down that low, don't foul, don't do anything, because he's not going to do anything with it. And sure enough, he brought it out to the front. This ball off of Gonzaga, so it belongs to Davidson as Archambeau had his shot go halfway down and spin out. At least we didn't call it like we did the oh. other night. We thought that ball went in. <laughs> Stephen Gray called for the personal foul. We'll be right back in Seattle. It's that need that uh, Day could have fulfilled for him, so. And Curry would have been his usual self. Well, Davidson needs to get it going now offensively. Yeah, the clock's starting to tick down. Not by 12, but still a lot of minutes left. It looks like that. But a nice job by Gonzaga, though, only allowing one opportunity at the basket. And yeah, Mangisto a rock with that rebound. Stephen Gray, quick trigger. Off the rim. Out of bounds, it goes to Davidson. Not a bad shot by Stephen Gray because he is the second leading scorer behind Matt Bolden. Matt Bolden's not in the ball game because of the, the head injury. Stephen's got to look for a shot. I don't, I don't mind him being a little selfish. And Davidson has to get Brendan McKillop shooting the basketball. Offensive foul called there on Kuhlman. Well, you like the aggressiveness of Kuhlman of going in, but you're going in against a seven-footer that weighs 250 pounds and taking away the basket. You just got to stop on a dime and try to pull up in front of it. And that's three fouls on Kuhlman. Davidson already with 16. Four of four from behind the arc. And a great high-low look again, this time to Sacre from Harris. And Gonzaga will shoot free throws. And I'm going to try again now to complete this thought about Brendan McKillop. 12 points on four of four from behind the arc in the first 13 minutes of the game. He's only scored three points in the last 15 minutes. Well, you, you, when a guy goes four for four, your coach is going to make you aware of that. And you got to pick him up wherever he's at. And of course, we said two of his shots were beyond the NBA three point line. You still have to find him when he's on the floor. I think Gonzaga's defense, thanks to the coaches, has said, do not leave McKillop open. Sacre now with 15 points. And he is 5 of 10 from the line, Craig, but he has yet to record a rebound. That's not good. Seven foot, 250. He should be, well, he averages almost six a game. Sometimes you just got to be downright stingy. And now, in fairness, I mean, Davidson's shooting 50%, Gonzaga 67%. There haven't been a lot of rebounds. No, both There's teams. one for Harris. Yeah, you're exactly right. Let's put the burners on. And he'll go to the free throw line. And Harris has just two rebounds to go along with those 21 points. Grant Gibbs leads Gonzaga in rebounding with five. And Bull Kong has four. Let's just take a look here at halftime total fouls. At halftime, 16 for the Davis Wildcats. Eight, so 24 fouls, and then it's picked up again. Davidson has eight fouls now. So, yeah, it's there's been a little bit of a foul fest. Well, actually, I got the, the number right here. 21 fouls on uh, Davidson now, 11 on Gonzaga. And Gonzaga's lead now at 16. And they're 23 out of 32 from the line, so you you like that. And actually, with those two, they're, they're up above that. So they're Trying to go inside McKillop. He'll shoot it from 10 feet. Missed it. Too close. He needs to be out behind the arc. A rock. The Sacre was being held. Oh, they called it they on They called it on Rob Sacre. That's his third. You know, and I don't like what I see Robert doing right now. Even though he was going to probably come out of the game with his third foul because you know that he, he's prone to pick up another quick one but right what? away. Don't walk off the floor, though. But what? Well, of course there was acting involved, but <laughs> but I'm just saying if you're Robert, man, even though you got three fouls, don't walk off the floor. Walk down the floor. They're going to substitute for you, get you out, so you don't pick up another one very quickly. But when someone locks your arm, aren't you allowed to try to unlock your arm? Yeah. In the WCC, you're allowed to do that. And now 
Elias Harris with a personal foul. And he picks up number two. And the foul's starting to evening out now here in the second half. Davidson with eight. Gonzaga with five. Oh, yeah, there's that's, that's a foul. That's a foul. That's a no brainer. You know, the primary thing you teach on defense is stay between your man and the basket. Stay between your man and the basket. If you get out, hustle back, get in front of him, and take it away. If you get caught behind him, you do what you just saw Elias do start reaching, and you're usually going to get caught. Harris with the block there. Of course, the officials for this game Kevin Brill, Mike Reed, and Donald Scott Harris. Any call that they make in this arena that goes against Gonzaga, they're not going to be popular men. No. <laughs> this is a, a yeah. there's 12, 13,000 people here, and maybe all but five are Our rooting Davidson. for Gonzaga. Yeah, the, the, um, you're exactly right. This is a pro Gonzaga. Well, it always has been. I mean, that's why they come over here and play this game. And now they're going to get together and talk things over. I need an explanation. Well, Mark Few's not arguing. Oh, he's got a 16 point lead. So maybe the clock kept rolling and we didn't notice. Oh, don't throw it. <laughs> they got very lucky he got that ball over Manny because if he saves. Yeah, J.P. Kuhlman. Saves that ball right to Manny. Manny's got a layup. Harris. Move it. That's it. Well, Lennon can shoot it from out there. Goodson driving off the glass. That's a great interior bucket by the point guard. Goodson now with 13 points. Yeah, Boy, that's great little, when you see him knife down the lane like that. Saw a little crevice that he could get in and get out there. And Ben Allison at 6-9 buries the three. And again, Goodson at the other end. Allison with the block, Harris the rebound. And now Harris will shoot free throws. Foul called on Jake Cohen. Nice job by Meach, getting as far as he can with the basketball, drawing the defense to him, and then Elias being in the right spot. After his man left him and went over to Meach, he went and found an open spot in an open area. Harris now six of nine as we take a look at Dimitri Goodson. I'll tell you when he explodes, and, and it was a, the right choice. Alice, uh, the big guys on him, right? Allison, Ben Allison goes out on him. Meets, don't bail the guy out by coming out and getting up a shot. Drive by the big guy, and that's exactly what Meets did. Harris now with 23 points. Should correct myself. Goodson with 15 points. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you have not seen the Decade of Excellence yet, be sure you grab your DVD at GoZags.com or call 1-877-281-4377. It's a look back at 11 years of what Gonzaga has done here in the city of Spokane. It's a great piece of DVD work. Check it out. And remember that great run that that 99 team had it started, started right, there. Huh? Right here at this key arena. It did. Yeah, beating Minnesota. These are the kind of plays you hate to see. Manny just getting out there and done what he did was, was taught to do. Close out, hand up, contest. But he just reached in a little too far. And, and a four-point play. Yeah, got a four-point play call. Coleman making up for... Sacre posting up hard. Now he sets the screen for Gray. Who stops and pops. Stephen Gray, the second half. When has he gotten things going? Yeah. Now with 14 points. Only five at half. Yeah, three of five from behind the arc. So all nine points coming from behind the arc for Stephen Gray in the second half. Archambault, that's way off. Tipped out by Allison, and Archambault runs it down. New shot clock. And now Allison feeling it again from three. That one's short, and Gray runs it out for Gonzaga. Push it if it's there, but back it out if it's not. Gray can't get the roll. And it's Davidson basketball. 
Stephen Gray coming alive for Gonzaga. 14 points, two rebounds. And man, does he look good when he does this. Whack! 